I'm Kevin Cottrell, and this is People with a Purpose. With us is author Robert Leslie Palmer to discuss his new novel, Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers, which is kind of a Christian allegory in the character and attitude of uh, Pilgrim's Progress, the Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings. And uh, I've had a chance to kind of crack the book open, read a couple of chapters, and uh, we'll talk about the book today. But first, Robert, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, uh, I was born and raised in California, but I have Alabama roots. Uh, I'm an attorney. I uh, received my undergraduate education at uh, Tulane University in New Orleans, and I received my law degree from Georgetown University. Served uh, four years in the JAG Corps, the Army JAG Corps, uh, in uh, Seoul, Korea, the 8th Army, and then Fort Hood, Texas, 1st Cavalry Division, and then I settled in Birmingham, Alabama, and practiced uh, for uh, basically uh, uh, the rest of my 27 years of practice. So what got you into uh, leaving the practice and becoming an author? I have always been a writer. I've always enjoyed writing. I have, for the, all of my life, I've written poetry. I have written uh, newspaper commentaries for the past 22, 23 years. Uh, I just enjoy writing. I've written uh, law review articles as a lawyer, but I finally decided I wanted to uh, write a novel. And this is your first uh, jaunt into that uh, arena, isn't it? It is. Okay. I uh, just want to tell the folks, uh, if uh, through our discussion here, you have an interest in getting a hold of the book, Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers, uh, it is available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com. You can also read the first chapter and uh, learn a little bit more about the author at RobertLeslyPalmer.com. And um, so, so tell us about this first novel, uh, which was published uh, back in November of last year. I'll just kind of describe for us a little bit about what it is. Well, as you uh, indicated, it is a Christian allegory, but unlike many uh, Christian allegories that have been published in the past, this one is based on a specific set of scriptures. Uh, I'm not going to mention what they are because uh, that could spoil the surprise of the story, right. but it is uh, different in that respect. Now, um, maybe just describe, for folks that, that might not know what, what an allegory is, kind of tell us, uh, based upon the novel, what that all means. An allegory is a story that has symbolic significance. On the surface level, it is a, a simple fantasy adventure. Now, allegories can be other types of stories as well. I, I suppose you could have a Western or a romance. But the deeper you dig into the story, it is symbolically significant. And a Christian allegory, of course, is one that conveys the gospel message. Now, um, you know, kind of, uh, we, we kind of talked about the fact that it's similar. It's got some, maybe the flavor of uh, Chronicles of Narnia and Lord of the Rings. Um, maybe tell us how this novel is similar and how it is different. Well, it is similar in the sense that it is a fantasy adventure, uh, just like both of those. And it is different uh, in the sense that it is, as I said before, based on a specific set of scriptures. Uh, both the Chronicles of Narnia and the Lord of the Rings trilogy were based generally on the Gospel. And for those who are interested in getting a hold of the book, once again, the book is called uh, Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers, and you can get it. I'm, I'm correct in assuming it's available now at Barnes & Noble and Amazon.com, right, Robert? It's available online. Oh, actually, okay. Uh, also, you can, uh, from what I understand, too, you can get it uh, electronic versions through Nook and Kindle, too? Yes. Okay. Um, now, tell us a little bit about your, your website, robertlesliepalmer.com, for folks that want to just kind of get a little bit more of a, an idea about you. What's on that website? Well, the website has uh, my biography, and it has an excerpt from uh, the novel, the first uh first chapter of Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers. Uh, it also has links to video clips. A video clip that is a book trailer for the novel. I urge people to uh, to watch that. It is uh, it should should uh, prove quite quite interesting. It is a um, video book trailer that is found on YouTube, so you could go straight there and just type in Archibald Zwick and find it. Uh, there's also an author video uh, that is on YouTube. There's a link at my website. 
and there's a list of books I intend to write in the future, and some of which I have already started writing. Now, who would you say is the target audience for the novel? I originally wrote the novel thinking about uh, high school age uh, teens. Uh, I have found a number of people have read the book and have told me from the age of 10 all the way to the age of 70 that they enjoyed it. Uh, So it appeals apparently to a larger demographic than I had originally anticipated. Well, you know, uh, I I personally love fantasy, too. And uh, so I'm kind of uh, getting a little bit engrossed in the book as I started reading it. So I guess it does uh, transcend maybe uh, younger audiences and and kind of uh, probably interests anybody who likes that kind of storytelling. Uh, yes, as as a matter of fact, uh, there is a uh, an interesting little story. The uh, Dr. Stephen Drake at Lifeway uh, reviewed the the novel and the companion volume for me, and when the uh, Forward Clarion review came out and gave it five stars out of five, uh, they made a statement that it was a uh, uh, aimed at adolescents, but that it could be considered a light read for adults and he wrote me an email and told me uh that having read truth in the eight towers the companion volume that he feels like it's more than a light read uh has so much uh, symbolic significance that he that said that he felt like it was a uh, a very significant read now you just mentioned the uh companion is that the study guide truth in the eight towers yes it is okay. and uh I would suggest that you read the novel first before you even open the study guide. Uh, Truth in the Eight Towers is a study uh, of the scriptures on which the novel is based. And then it also includes a discussion of the symbolism uh, that supports the allegory. So it would be kind of great if uh, folks read the novel and then they went into the study guide to get a lot of the deeper meaning that you have in the novel. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the novel has already been incorporated into the curriculum of two Christian schools, one oh, wow. on the left coast and one on the right coast <laughs> of the U.S. The, uh, uh, there's a school in, in Massachusetts and a school in uh, Washington State uh, that have already decided to put it into the fall curriculum. And, of course, the companion volume is, is to be used by the teachers. That's great. We're talking with author Robert Leslie Palmer about his new novel, his first, and it sounds like more to come, Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers, uh, a book that's kind of similarly based on, on if you like novels and, and storytelling like the Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings, this is definitely a book in that genre, in that vein. Uh, tell us about uh, the lead character's unusual name, Archibald Zwick. How did you come up with that name? Well, uh, I did a lot of research. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of people asked me about the novel, and, and uh, I did a substantial outline before I ever wrote the novel. But uh, Archibald Zwick uh, is a real name. Archibald is a name that is Germanic in origin, and it means both genuine and bold, which are two attributes that Christians should have. Uh, secondly, Zwick is also a Germanic name. It's a surname that originally referred to a farmer who farmed a triangular-shaped piece of land. And I chose that name because, uh, first of all, at the outset of the story, Archie is lost in the Bermuda Triangle. But more importantly, he is on a divine journey to meet the Holy Trinity. And so, of course, triangle suggests that. Finally, his name has the initials Archibald, A and Z, and uh, that suggests, again, that he's on a divine journey to meet the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, so, you know, I missed that in the beginning when I was reading, because I know he keeps making reference to Bermuda. And, of course, uh, not to give too much away, they're looking at him like he's crazy, uh, the, the people that he meets. Um, so th- now, now, now that kind of fills in the blanks for me <laughs> on a little bit of the story, as I'm, I'm probably three or four chapters in at this point. Um, how long have you, had you been working on this novel? Was it a couple of years? Well, the interesting thing is that uh, people ask me this, and I tell them that uh, that the novel began in a kind of an unusual way. Uh, I, in my law firm, I used to lead a uh, Bible study. Uh, I'm no longer with the firm now, uh, so I don't lead that Bible study. But uh, I did this uh, series on the specific scriptures that form the basis of the novel. After doing that, I realized, you know, this is something that uh, I could convey to youth somehow. 
and it occurred to me to write a novel. So what I did was I I uh, took that and outlined, based on the scripture, a story, and then I did research uh, on symbols and other things, and finally I began writing. All of that preliminary work took about a year and a half, but that was while I was working full-time as a lawyer. When I left my practice, I began to write the novel, and that took me, uh, the novel and the companion volume together took me three months to write, but that was after I had done all the preliminary work. Right. Okay, one other thing, too, that people will notice when they get the novel is the um, uh, the dolphin that is in there as well. Tell us about the uh, the significance of that. Well, and the cover uh, has a picture of the protagonist, Archibald Zwick, riding a dolphin. And, of course, that would appeal, I think, to anybody who enjoys fantasy. Uh, it is a very interesting story in that sense, but it has a, a symbolic significance. The dolphin... Uh, is a an ancient symbol of salvation, and it is a uh, gift to him from a Christ figure in the novel, and so that of course suggests immediately salvation is a free gift from God. Okay, we're talking with Robert Leslie Palmer. He is the author of a new novel coming out, Archibald Zwick and the Eight Towers. Very much in the vein of Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings, if you enjoy that kind of fantasy. And, of course, the uh, Christian symbolism throughout. Then uh, check out, get copies uh, for the family, yourself, your kids, uh, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Also, it's available through Nook and Kindle. And you can actually uh, find out a lot more about the author and the novel by going to the author's website, robertlesliepalmer.com. And uh, we wish you uh, much success with the novel. We thank you for spending some time with us.